Sure. Uh, I was hired by NASA five years ago uh, to build a platform that would lower the barrier to adoption of cloud computing technologies for missions specifically. And so uh, it's, it's been an interesting and crazy uh, ride, uh, to say the least. NASA, is, as you can imagine, is a very large uh, workforce. It's about 55,000 people. We're geographically dispersed all over the United States, and we have IT assets all over the world. And so um, what, what seemed like one project actually has turned into many projects over the course of time. So it's been uh, never a dull day, to say the least. Sure, uh, because NASA has this large decentralized footprint, uh, my uh, position is under the Chief Information Officer organization. And so uh, when, we, when I started out, uh, we had a very fixed budget. Uh, we had a very fixed budget around um, uh, building out the service. Uh, and at the end of the, at the, end of the budget, uh, the goal was to have a self-sustaining service, almost like a revenue model. Uh, where missions and projects would come on and use the technical platform, and it needed to be self-sustaining. And so, uh, you know, as this phrase goes, it wasn't mission difficult, it was mission impossible. And uh, after uh, 10 months, actually, we had an operational platform with an authority to operate, and uh, even by the time we launched, uh, we had already had 20 projects sign up to use our platform, and now, uh, now four years in operations, uh, we support over 160 projects across all 10 NASA centers, so it's been pretty tremendous growth, to say the least. Yeah, so for us, um, one of the challenging things, especially on the IT side of the house, is the pace at which technology changes, right? And so uh, when I got that initial sum of money, uh, we went out and hired a handful of uh, solutions architects. I went out and got solutions architects certified myself. And I went around uh, probably the first 90 or 120 days just talking to people, uh, trying to understand pain points, challenges they were having. And some common themes emerged, as you can imagine. One of those was uh, cybersecurity. Uh, it's very difficult to manage sometimes. Uh, the other one is technology itself. Uh, it changes and evolves so rapidly. And a lot of my customers inside of NASA, they're scientists, they're engineers, they're not uh, te te technicians or uh, technologists, if you will. And so, you know, keeping up with the rapidly changing pace of technology and, and evolving to meet uh, modern cybersecurity threats along the way is a huge challenge for them. And so, uh, one of the early goals of our service was to streamline a lot of those, right? Streamline the cybersecurity angles, streamline the technology onboarding roadmap, right? It wasn't just one set of things, but an ever evolving set of things, because technology is always evolving. Uh, you know, I, I made, I gave a speech earlier today, and I mentioned, you know, hey, a year ago, Chat GPT, most people didn't know what it was, and now, like, you, tur everybody talks about it all the time. So, it's it's that kind of like rapidly changing technology um, that was um, hard to adopt in the past, and uh, through our the development of our platform and our program, we've significantly accelerated that, and it has led to tremendous uh, digitally trans digital transformation efforts across NASA. Yeah, so you know, there's uh, three major cloud providers, commercial cloud providers in, in the U.S. that are commonly used: uh, Amazon Web Services, Google Cloud, and Microsoft Azure. I was familiar with all of those to begin with, um, but some of the things that we needed, uh, you know, for ease of use and compliance and that kind of stuff, you know, we we wanted um, a single sign-on access broker it was one of them. Uh, as you can imagine, uh, cost and cost management is another major thing for our projects. You know, even though it, we are a platform that brokers services on behalf of other projects, these projects don't have unlimited budgets. They have finite budgets. And so, like, how do you build the right uh, project management guardrails, the right cost management guardrails, in addition to some of the cyber type aspects? And so, um, you know, that was something that, you know, is probably uh, thought about by some, but not thought about by all, um, and providing this uh, as sort of as part of our service is really um, accelerated. I think it's part of the adoption as well because you have that sort of cost transparency. You kind of always know where you stand in terms of your project and, and your budget and that kind of stuff. So, sure, I would say uh, be ever evolving. Um, you know, as mentioned, just like technology is always changing, our approach is always changing. You know, we. We try to live with an agile mindset, and so um, 
you know, I think it's good to have a path and a vision, uh, but don't get too uh, don't get too married to the vision that makes you un unable to change along the way. Uh, because being able to change along the way, respond to changes in both demand as well as the sort of overall environment around you, I think is going to be crucial in, in, a, in the world of tech that's ever evolving itself. So.